Hey guys, welcome back. Happy 2023. Uh, I can't believe 2022 is over. And we are starting January 2nd off with a bang here. Uh, this is by the Chicago Tribune. It's a column on opinion. Geneva man with Parkinson's disease says more awareness needed about role of service dogs. And there he is with his dog. Paul Ruby, who has Parkinson's disease, relies on his service dog, Roland, to help him with his balance when out in public. Paul Ruby wants no pity, and like the dog lying quietly under the restaurant table when we met recently, he really wants no attention. Since he was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 2006, the 59-year-old Geneva man just hopes to live as normal a life as possible. That's the reason he spent $20,000 a year ago for Roland, the highly trained black lab and German shepherd mix that has made it possible for Ruby, who struggles with balance because of his disease, to get out in public. That includes restaurants, of course, which is why Ruby contacted me. On November 26, he said he was refused service at Salerno's on the Fox in St. Charles because Roland was with him and wife Linda, an allegation that would be a clear violation of the law guaranteeing equal access to all people in public places. Under the ADA, private businesses that serve the public, including restaurants, hotels, retail stores, taxis, theaters, concert halls, and sports facilities must allow people with disabilities to bring their service animals it onto the premises in whatever areas customers are generally allowed. According to Ruby, when Salerno's owner, Joe Salerno, found out Roland was not a seeing eye dog, he ordered them out of the restaurant, despite their attempts to explain the animal's role as a working service animal and the ADA mandate, which prohibits asking about a person's disability. Ruby contacted the St. Charles Police Department once they were in the parking lot. According to the police report, responding officer Brad Schumacher, probably butchering that, immediately met with Salerno, who began talking over me and incorrectly stated that only seeing eye dogs were allowed in the restaurant. The owner also told the officer, according to the police report, that any person can call a dog a service dog and went on to relay a previous experience with a service dog that almost bit a waitress on the patio, but also acknowledged Ruby's dog was not being aggressive. According to the police report, Shoemacher uh, informed Salerno that he was incorrect and attempted to educate him on the law. He also advised the Rubies to file a complaint with the United States Department of Justice. According to the police report, Shoemacher returned to the restaurant on December 9th to get more information. And during this interview, Salerno told him Ruby's dog had been in the aisle blocking people from walking down it. And when he asked the couple to move the dog, he said they became belligerent, which is why he demanded they leave. So that's different, right? Um, of course, that's a different report. Sounds like he tried to backtrack and make a, a legit reason why he kicked them out. Uh, because if someone is being belligerent and your dog is blocking paths and access and is becoming a safety issue, then of course that's a legitimate reason to, you know, you refuse to do it, to tell people to get out. Um, but I'm not sure if that's, if he just backtracked, um, because that's not, that's not cool. When I talked to Salerno, he also said the incident had nothing to do with Roland being a service dog, but that he was blocking the aisle and said the rubies became rude and hostile when he requested the animal move. Listen, I'm I'm on starting to think I want to have every recorded uh, every outing recorded with the dogs that I take out because of incidences like this. If you have it on video, you know, put GoPro on the back of your dog. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking about just putting GoPros in the back of my dogs and being like, this is just for your own safety. And if you ever do need to, you know, move things forward and make a claim. When people behave like that, he told me, we ask them to leave. According to the police report, it was determined Salerno committed an offense related to the access of service animals, a Class C misdemeanor. But because the Rubies declined to press charges, the case was closed. 
Paul Ruby insisted his main reason for posting this incident on social media and contacting the press was because despite its, despite its longevity, the ADA made into law in 1990 is still misunderstood by some people. It's un misunderstood by a lot of people. Um, and it's really quite unfortunate, too, that people don't even know what that they can and should be kicking service dogs out now I under of uh, buildings. Now I understand from a um I guess lawyer slash court slash you know could you be sued perspective um things it's a complicated uh thing to do in order to keep both you and your dog safe because if people are negligent in in following through with the law because they are afraid, you know, that is a legit concern. But at the same time, you know, this is why I'm this is why I'm considering putting GoPros on all my dogs. <laughs> because if if you ever need to prove a point to see who was actually true and wrong, and rather than a he said, she said situation, um video is going to clear all that up. Unfortunately, the issue has arisen more in recent years as legitimate service dogs are thrown into the mix of comfort or emotional support animals, a trend that has proliferated and led to more abuse of the federal mandate. And I have, I've walked up to people in a Walmart, it's always Walmart, I swear to God, it's always Walmart, and they'll have a dog in their cart barking at everybody and everything. Uh, wearing an ESA vest, and I'm like, oh, you know, I actually train service dogs. Do you need a service dog? And if that's what you need, you know, let's work something out because this dog is not allowed in here and it's actually bugging everybody, including me. And I would encourage you to uh, get out and not bring that dog in again <laughs> because the employees are not going to say it, right? They're too afraid that they're going to get fired. They're going to get the, the, they're trained not to, sometimes they're trained not even to ask if it's a service dog and just let a dog in. Um, so, you know, somebody's got to take it into their hands and be like, Hey, listen, you're being, you, you don't understand the laws. I'm here to help if you want to. Um, but if I see you here and again, like it's, it's, I'm not going to be happy, <laughs> especially if I'm training a dog with me. Um, okay. Emotional support animals, while they do undergo training are used as a calming distraction to people in crisis. So that's not a hundred percent true. They can go through training, but they are not required to go through training, providing them with healing contact to improve their physical, social, emotional, or cognitive functioning. These animals, however, are not, not taught to perform a specific task for an individual with a disability. Why are there two knots there? Why is it not not? Roland, for example, had two years of training specifically for the needs of Ruby, whose obvious balance issue led to many falls prior to Roland entering his life. Well, then that's a service dog because it's task trained. Then it's not an emotional support animal. That is a service dog. So this article is really, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here with this article. Uh, Roland wears a service dog vest at all times outside the home, and when that vest is on, he is working, said Ruby, which means he is not to be pet in public so as to remain focused on the job at hand. My goal has always been to increase awareness about the rights of the disabled in regards to service dogs, said Ruby. Hopefully the story will prompt business owners and managers to take time to train their staff on ADA laws. They won't. They won't because it's too much of a liability. Um, and if there's any lawyers out there that have experience in the ADA, please reach out to me because I have some questions that I would like answered. Um, I do. I have some questions that I would like answered regarding this. Um, cause I, 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 I have different scenarios in my mind that I want to play out. And I need someone to talk through those scenarios with. So if you uh, have that knowledge, I would greatly appreciate that. Meanwhile, uh, you guys can also follow me on my other social platforms. I am on TikTok at Caitlin's Animals. I am on Instagram at Caitlin's Animals. And I am on Facebook at Caitlin's Animal Training. And where else am I at? I think that's it. Those are the main, those are the main platforms. I also have a Facebook group for training your own service dog. Um, it's called Service Dog Prep. So if you're interested, I occasionally hold free workshops in that Facebook group. And um, 
hope to see you guys around. Thank you so much. And I hope that was helpful, guys. See you next time.